Hello, I am in Krakow and I am here to eat ramen. Now I know that's a weird combination, but anyways, let's check out the city in the meantime and I will give back the word to Akush in the past to explain how we got here and what is the plan. Good morning from Vienna, Austria. I know that's weird because I'm from Budapest and I'm going to Krakow. And basically, if you just look at a map, then Budapest and Krakow are really, really close to each other. So why am I doing this to myself? Well, there's supposed to be a night train that goes from Budapest to Krakow, goes in the evening, gets there in the morning. But there apparently have been no more tickets for reclining seats. And instead of basically torturing myself by sitting a whole night on a train, I am sitting at an airport for a five hour layover. Anyways, now that we are in Austria, let's try and get one of my favorite things here, Leberkäsesemmel. Let's do this. And so I set off on the long journey at the airport to find... Oh, never mind. Even at the airport it's easy to get this delicious snack in Leberkäse country. So I got myself the expensive airport Leberkäsesemmel I craved and continued my long wait for my connecting flight. Mm. You just simply cannot go wrong with this. This is amazing. Mm. So you might be wondering, what is this about? Why am I going to Krakow in the first place? Well, last minute I was asked to go there because of work and my good friend who is actually from Krakow told me that if I go there, I must try a ramen at a very specific ramen place. I'm curious, why would somebody tell me that I need to eat Japanese food in a Polish place, especially if it's their hometown and they're not recommending a Polish restaurant to me? I had my fair share of ramen. I love ramen. And I'm really curious if this will live up to the hype that my friend is generating. Ramen in the middle of Europe. Let's see. I'll meet you guys in Krakow. For the next hours, I walked up and down, stared at weird commercials about sustainability and banking, and then people having fun while traveling. That guy is super happy to see people hug, but happy in a creepy way. Then I finally got on my plane and arrived in Krakow. And if you are wondering what the hotel my company booked for me was like, this is what it looks like. A bit stiff, but it will be good. We have a TV facing the bed. Good. We also have a bunch of decorations. Even this pillow is super decorative. This is the bathroom and even more decoration. And look, naked bricks. So if I have to summarize the first impression of this room, it's decorative and nice as well. By the way, during my layover, I've been reading your comments and thank you so much for all the positive words that you guys are sharing. And there was one really funny moment when I read this from Barry Steven. I love this video. I love all your videos and I am subscribed. And then he says the following. My one criticism is that you maybe spend an awful lot of your videos eating and drinking. I'm sorry, Barry, but this video is also about food and hopefully drinking maybe later. We will see. Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions or any feedback on our videos, we would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Thank you very much. Now, let's head into Krakow and see the city. So I finally headed out. But first, I needed my daily dose of specialty coffee. And the place I found close by was nice, staff was friendly, and the coffee was also excellent. The old town is separated from the rest of Krakow by a nice park that surrounds it. I really love these historical European town centers with the large open space in the center, the many gorgeous old historical buildings, and the interesting details you can discover. Here we also have a very nice looking building in the middle that hosts a museum and the market running under it. It's kinda similar to the Grand Market Hall we have in Budapest, as in it has a lot of tourist focused goods, so I just looked at things and didn't buy anything, just like at home. By the way, Polish people and us Hungarians have a long history of mutual support for each other. We even have a saying that roughly means Polish and Hungarian, two good friends, fights and drinks wine together. 
Over history, we had rulers like Louis the Great sitting on the throne of both kingdoms. And one interesting Krakow thing that was highlighted to me, and the sign of our shared history, is the hourly Haino, which is a bugle call, and a word that sounds really similar to the Hungarian word of dawn, which is hoinal. Each hour, this is played from the tower of St. Mary's Basilica. I kind of expected that Krakow will be nice, but I didn't really think that it's gonna be so much fun to explore these side streets and the old town and everything basically here. So tomorrow I will definitely need to come back when there's gonna be lights illuminating these streets. That's gonna be super fun. But now I'm getting hungry, so let's go and finally get that ramen. So then finally, I made my way to the ramen place ramen people. I sat down, ordered the beer and the soup, and then there it was. A beautiful tonkotsu ramen. Gorgeous noodles, tender meat falling apart, and the taste, mmm. And the nice craft beer along with it, an amazing experience. My friend did not lie, I was brought back to Japan for those few minutes as I consumed that delicious ramen. And then the next day, I did work. But after that, the sun was out, weather was amazing. So I headed one more time into the old town to capture some nice pictures and enjoy the square and the streets covered in sunlight, discover the nice details on buildings and experience the hourly bugle call once again. But as I walked around, I started to get hungry. And I was wondering, was that ramen yesterday really that good? Or was I just so hungry that any food would have tasted amazing? So I walked back to have ramen once again, but this time it was a kimchi ramen. And nope, yesterday wasn't an error in the system. These guys can surely make excellent ramen. Boy, it was so good. Now I know I always emphasize on the importance of eating something local to get the taste of a culture and here I am in Krakow eating ramen for the second time. But in such a short time I'm only getting like a teaser of the Krakow experience so I really want to come back here because so far this is a really nice city and actually my producer really enjoys food so I basically didn't want her to miss out on the wonderful experience of eating something Polish here in Krakow. So hopefully I can bring her back here one day and then we can get the full Poland Krakow experience. Anyways, the lights are now up. Let's check out the old town once more with the lights on. Now I will be honest here, I really enjoyed the old town, but once the sun set and the lights were turned on, it wasn't that much different than a few hours earlier. It was still fun to walk around, although surprisingly many times I was asked by random people if I wanted to go to a strip club, maybe I have that kind of face? Anyways, I checked out some of my favorite locations and discovered some new ones before heading home to rest after a long day of work and adventures in Krakow. Good morning. So in the end this may have been a short stay here in Krakow, but I got a really nice taste of the city, although it wasn't about flavors but the ramen was really good, indeed, twice. So I'm definitely coming back here one day and then I can take my lovely producer so that she can also enjoy what Poland has to offer. And I'm really thankful for my job to actually, you know, bring me out here for this short period of time, but I could still get a really nice experience. By the way, Akos from the future here, in the end, on my way to the airport, I did get to taste something local, which is the Obvarzanek, a bagel-like product specific to Krakow. And it was indeed really nice, with some sausages especially. And I could bring some home for my producer as well. Now, back to Akos in his hotel room. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and already clicked the like button. And if you're new and this is the first video you see from me and you consider subscribing, 
Wow, I am super grateful for that. And everyone else who is already subscribed. It's about time to leave the hotel, go to the airport, go back home to my lovely producer in Budapest, Hungary. Hope to see you guys in our future videos. Bye!